Yes. Mm -hmm. Just looking at this World Book Encyclopedia, the comedy, yeah, <laughs> is a form of drama that deals with humorous or ridiculous aspects of human behavior. Yes. <laughs> Now, I know we all think this is funny, don't we? Oh, not giving me any due process. Right. Reissuing protection orders. <laughs> Threatening my life for the last seven years and three months, and more recently, the last three years after I informed you. We'll, we'll just make up crimes that he didn't commit. We'll say that he's crazy, and we'll make him take psychotropic medication. Well, it, it says here that... Um, to uh, something, the assault prong, government must prove that the defendant bodily injured another in retaliation for my testimony or servant. Uh, as a general rule, the intent to retaliate need not have been the sole motivation for the attack. <laughs> are you sure your fake police reports aren't an attack on my person? I'm the target. I'm the informant. <laughs> I'm the witness. <laughs> I'm the individual that sent the two million emails. <laughs> You're the police department that decided to attack me. <clears throat> it's funny, isn't it? A real comedy? <laughs> You're just laughing your ass off for the last two and a half years. He doesn't know how it is, how it really is. <laughs> I don't understand that being an informant and emailing those in law enforcement... <laughs> The actual documentation that you use forgeries to issue court orders? Yes. <laughs> that you threaten a person's mind as well as their body because of the treatment that you're going to recommend? <laughs> that you make up crimes I didn't commit and then you make up fraudulent mental health evaluations? Well, Brad, you're going to involuntarily have me admitted to a mental facility and you're going to have them administer psychotropic medication. <laughs> I'm a government informant. Oh, Section 1513 RICO Act, um, uh, predicate offenses and consequently money laundering. Pooch. There's no possible way you got paid for those shows, is there? You didn't launder any money. Pooch. I mean, my wife did. There are also violent offenses and therefore may result in the application of those statutes in which the commission of a violent crime is an element of our sentencing factor. <laughs> Isn't it a violent crime to have somebody arrested for a two-count criminal complaint? Yes, when you know they weren't in that city and they didn't email any of the co-workers of the petitioner, <laughs> the same petitioner that did not sign the protection order and used a forgery to issue it. <laughs> are you sure this isn't a violent crime? I think it is. As soon as you brought in the mental health evaluation and the involuntary remission, isn't it that you're going to have me put? I think it's a violent crime. Mm -hmm. Based on these factors, the following factors are related to the need for forced medication. <laughs> That's a violent crime. You're going to force medication down my throat because I keep emailing those that are federal law enforcement. <laughs> You're going to make absolutely fucking sure that I have this medication whether I want it or not. You're not going to admit any evidence. You're not going to say that the protection order is, well, in violation of the RCWs or the Violence Against Women's Act. You're not going to allow for any personal service because you're going to retaliate and you're going to make sure that you're going to stuff that fucking medication down this throat because you'll make absolutely sure. Are you sure it's not a violent crime? Oh, to put anything in this body against sentencing those who aid in a bad <laughs> every oath of office, <laughs> all those attorneys. Ooh, <laughs> the offenses are liable as principals. Now, <laughs> I told you that you get to go to prison because you were laughing your asses off. <laughs> you thought this was a comedy. <laughs> every time you got paid for a show, every time you had me arrested without any evidence, <laughs> every time you completely disregarded the RCW requirements of the law, <laughs> every time you made up a fake crime you were laughing so funny <laughs> the problem is i'm an affordant oops it's a violent crime you retaliated oh and all of those that are aiding and abetting every police officer in the Port Angeles Police Department, I'm gonna sue every fucking one of them as principals pooch <laughs> now for every mandatory reporter see 
every time I emailed ri.pdf coach that um, there's a forgery there? Yes. Heidi Lee Budner and all the other forgeries? Yes. And that you're going to arrange for a mental health evaluation for me? Yes. And you're not going to admit the evidence that I wasn't in Squim. And you won't admit the evidence that I wasn't in Britain, Washington. And you're going to make absolutely fucking sure that everything you do is funny. Every person that's been aiding and abetting those in the police department. Every police department in the United States. <laughs> I'll put every fucking... <laughs> Are you laughing today at the comedy of what you're doing? Uh, I wasn't in Squim. Oh, you obligated me to a mental health evaluation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I told you for a whole year that it's against the law to violate the requirements of the RCWs. Yes. And, um, Every time you put mental health evaluation and treatment, if recommended, without the protections of notice to myself, the reasonable, timely, and accurate notice, <coughs> without me being heard by the actual commissioner or judge, yes, every time you decided that you were going to threaten my life because of the use of psychotropic medications or psychotic there, Brett, are you psychotic yourself, Brett? Brett Roberts, <laughs> deputy prosecuting attorney right now. Are you fucking psychotic for the shit that you're doing? Oh, sadistic government employee.